I want to hear the Deputy Leader of the Opposition in silence. My question is to the Prime Minister. Over the course of the previous coalition government's time in office, the Reserve Bank of Australia met almost 100 times and raised interest rates once. Under the Albanese government, the Reserve Order. Bank met on eight occasions and has raised interest rates eight times. Using Order. his economics the House, degree... The Deputy Leader was in her seat. Before the Deputy Leader spoke, I asked that she be heard in silence. The Treasurer will cease interjecting. The member for Hume... The Deputy Leader will be heard in absolute silence. If she's not, action will be taken. She will begin her question again. I give the call to the Deputy Leader of the Opposition. My question is to the Prime Minister. Over the course of the previous coalition government's time in office, the Reserve Bank of Australia met almost 100 times and raised interest rates once. Under the Albanese government, the Reserve Bank has met on eight occasions and has raised interest rates eight times. Using his economics degree, can the Prime Minister confirm that under the coalition, interest rates rose about 1 per cent of the time, but under Labor they are rising 100 per cent of the time? Why do Australian families always pay more Order. under Labor? Member's time has expired. Order. I could barely hear the end of the question. I could barely hear the end of the question, but I'm giving the call to the Prime Minister. That's because it was timed out, Mr Speaker. I thank, the, uh, I thank the Deputy Leader for her question. And uh, it is quite an extraordinary question, the way that it's put. It seems to, it seems to ignore the fact had a recession. that, you had that a recession. the Reserve Bank of Australia is an independent body. That's the first point that I would make, and you don't need an economics degree to know that. You don't need an economics degree to know that. But apparently that's beyond the capacity of those opposite. The second thing that I will confirm is that the economy started growing, of course, under Bob Hawke and Paul Keating. And it grew, Order. It grew Order. for 30 Members years. My lair. 30 years. For 30 Order. It grew even when the entire world went into a global the financial crisis. The economy continued to grow. When did the recession come? Who was in government? And when a recession comes, the Reserve Bank decreases the interest rates in order to stimulate the economy. The Prime Minister will pause. Unless I can hear the Deputy Leader, I will not take the point of order. I give her the call on a point of order. Uh, on relevance, Mr Speaker, can the Prime Minister count to 100? <laughs> order. Order the Minister for Early Childhood. I have been more than tolerant with this abuse of standing orders. This is not the first time the Deputy Leader has done this. As much as I don't want to do this, she will leave the chamber under 94A for abuse of order, for abuse of standing orders. Order, order. The, the member for Jellybrand, the member for Jellybrand will withdraw that comment. I withdraw. When the House comes back to order, the Prime Minister will be heard in silence or further people will leave the chamber. Thanks very much, uh, Mr Speaker. When the recession occurred under the former government, what reserve banks and central banks around the world do is that they support the stimulation of the economy. So therefore, you have a reduction in interest rates. Then when there's global inflation, around the world, central banks increase interest rates. That's what occurs. The level of debate, 
that we are having here is just extraordinary from those opposite. I mean, this is, this is the alternative government of Australia. And the shadow treasurer who, who, who refuses to ask a question of the treasurer, this is what he said, not before the election, but in September, 28th of September, in an opinion piece. So he wrote it down. He actually thought about it and submitted it to that great journal, The Australian. And he said this, it's very clear, the world has changed Order. dramatically, even in the past few months. We've seen a rapid shift to an inflationary environment. Interest rates are bucking decades of downward trends. I mean, for those opposite, just show their economic illiteracy in here day after day. Order. Prime Minister's time has expired.